This is Rocket 79 with the automatic transmission conversion. And um, yeah, I know I'm stepping out of Milo, but that's not the point. I've got a 76 at home, and the one thing that annoys me is the first couple of gears. Um, I've seen this thing perform off-road, I've had a go at it, and here I am having a go on the road with it, and um, it is just the best thing you could do to one of these trucks, without a doubt. It even gets better economy, but I mean, you know, I hit, I don't even play with it. I can see everything that's going on with the readout down here, and it just makes it so good to drive. It's just like totally relaxed, you know? Um, in fact, I've only got one issue with his whole truck, and that's that I've got to have the windows down. I'm sorry, I can't do this air conditioning stuff no matter what. Good on your rocket, wholesale, wow, awesome, well done. I wonder how he's going in my load. In case you're wondering, I haven't stolen Milo. John's actually taken my 79 series for a run. But for all of you who want to know what it's like to drive Milo, I can tell you right now, it's quite an experience. The steering, pretty sure, comes from the 40s. The brakes from the 50s. I think he stole the exhaust pipe off of a Fergie in the 50s. And um, the noise, the experience, certainly takes me back to my childhood. While I like driving the 79 series, this is a lot of fun. I can understand why Ruthie likes driving it around so much. You've got to yell when you talk. You can't hear nothing over the exhaust. There's a few rattles and squeaks, but it's a lot of fun. So, while you might not get the chance, the best I can do is actually try and convey what it's like to drive Milo. It's probably been one of the rare, very rare people to ever get the chance to do it. And that's only because Ruthie's made off with my truck. Otherwise I wouldn't get the chance.